Well, uh, looks like we know why he had a thousand bottles of baby oil. What up, what up, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy, Stevie Knight. About to get on one of these things. Just feel me. Let's go to watch. Night watch, man. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy, dog. Like, you can't get used to this, bro. You can't get used to this, dog. You, uh, Pete the Drill. ShopStevenKnight.com. You feel me? I was just going to highlight the baby oil situation but we got other news that just came across bro like anyway uh yeah the baby oil the a thousand bottles of baby oil but well, turns out diddy laced all that baby oil with the date rape drug Whew. Whew. <laughs> And cuz is still trying to tell the judge, let him out. Let me out, judge. Come on, bro. Let me out, judge, bro. Hell no, fam. I'm surprised Diddy's still alive to keep it a buck. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> this man, hold on. Let's, let's just get into it. Daily Mail and a bunch of other uh, news outlets are covering this story. Did he use the baby oil laced with date rape drug GHB to make assaults easier? Court documents claim. I mean, it just claimed. It just claimed, bro. But no, nah, fam. And I already seen a a bunch of fools uh, speculate that they believe that all that oil was laced with something. But what was that comment you made about how the baby oil at Diddy House might be laced? What makes you say that? Well, what I said was is that. Isn't it weird that the government was so interested in Diddy's baby oil that they took a thousand bottles away from his house? If the government took a thousand bottles of baby oil and somebody had things what appeared to be baby oil, and then you have to listen to the prosecutor. He said that they seized a thousand bottles what allegedly to be baby oil allegedly to be baby oil. So that's telling people that it wasn't baby oil. And people think that that was baby oil, they out they mind. I don't believe it was baby oil. Yo, bro, when they went up in there, they knew what they was going to find. They knew what was ever in that baby oil or that, that, that those bottles that appeared to be baby oil, they knew about that at first. You got to realize nine times out of 10, that individual that got caught at the airport that was supposed to be their carrier told them what they was doing and what they had. I wouldn't put him past that he told them everything. So when they went up in there, they knew they had to take whatever was out there and that thing that appeared to be baby oil they took that. They got to test every last one of them. Let's see how much, let, let's see how many of those come back to be baby oil. Bro, listen to me. Costco don't sell that much baby oil. What you know sell that much baby oil? Yeah, I don't know any store that sell that much baby oil. But you personally, right, what do you believe was in the baby oil? If I would give it a wild guess, it was and like some of the people told me, it was probably that GHB. What's that? I think it's gamma hydro hydrox. Is uh, I don't. I I looked it up, bro. It's gamma hydroxy butyric. What is it effect on the body? It's a euphoria, drowsiness, decreased anxiety and memory impairment. It works on the nervous system and gives you this feeling of euphoria. So they take that and rub it on it and you forget who you are, what you are doing. It can also give you memory loss, drowsiness. And that's under the DEA 
the uh, Drug Enforcement Administration .gov. Because why else would you need that amount of oil? I mean, even then, bro, like even if you got the oil lace, why you need a thousand bottles of it, bro? You doing that much assaulting, and you playing like it's either doing that much assaulting, or you playing with that many booty holes, or you know a group of booty holes. Numerous times, but a thousand bottles, cuz anyway, anyway, uh, a lawsuit which accuses Sean Diddy Combs of child could shed light on why more than a thousand bottles of baby oil were found at his home. According to the court documents, the rapper used baby oil laced with the date rape drug to make assaults easier. The lawsuit, which was filed on Monday, suggests that the drug was absorbed through victim's skin after applying the baby oil to make them drowsy. Like in what circumstance are you needing to like who even use baby oil like that anyway? Y'all still use baby oil? Like, just get some coconut oil, bro. That's good for you. Baby oil is is not. Anyway, I'm getting distracted, dog. But like, <laughs> y'all, y'all go to go into these events, go into these parties, go into these freak ops and putting baby oil on. It just screams gay. <laughs> it just screams gay. Um, in it, a man known only as John Doe accused the rapper of assaulting him. When he was just 16 at a party in 98, he also shared a photograph of the pair together at one of the rapper's famous white parties. Diddy has denied the accusations against him. Oh, this is the picture right here. A man accusing Diddy of assaulting him when he was just 16. Has sh why the and why are you at this party when you 16 anyway, bro? The fuck? Y'all let kids at these parties? I mean, of course he did. Um, two women pour champagne down a third woman's throat at that's what they do at parties, man. That ain't nothing. Um, there existed something sinister, a dark underbelly of crime, sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, bribery, and prostitution. The court filing stated, Combs is a menace to society, women and children. Diddy denies the allegations against him. Diddy's white parties were once considered the most sought after invitation on the social scene and were attended by a constant stream of A-list stars. According to the new filing by Tony Busby, who said he is representing as many as 120 credible Diddy victims, it was also essential to his alleged offending. Um, hold on. He would tell victims, this is what it takes to be famous. What are you willing to do to become a star? John Doe was 16, living in New York, when he received a highly sought after invitation to the 98 white party in the Hamptons. I said, that, that, that first of all, the John Doe shit sound like some bullshit. But then why would a 16-year-old boy receive a party, an invitation to a, a white party? That screams cap to me. Um, and then, all right, are they his, are there court documents from his lawsuit that claim that Diddy spiked the baby oil? Anyway, when he received the invitation, he felt like he finally had the opportunity to rub shoulders with the who's who in the industry. He thought it could be his chance to break into the music industry. The court filing read as John Doe entered he spotted countless celebrities and A-listers who formed the music and entertainment industry. He recognized faces he had seen on TV and on the big screen. The young boy was making his way through the crowd and heading toward the restroom when he unexpectedly bumped into Combs. Shocked, John Doe found himself face to face with Combs, a titan in the music industry standing right in front of him at his own party. They, he, uh, he really milking that bit. The picture shared in the court filing was allegedly taken at this moment during this interaction. The filing states Combs took an interest in John Doe and wanted to talk to him. They walked to a more private area near the portable restrooms brought in for the party. There, John Doe told Combs he was a big fan of Combs and shared his dreams of becoming a star. Combs smiled, telling him he had potential and the look. When John Doe admitted his voice was not great, Combs assured him that it didn't matter. Combs abruptly told John Doe that he needed to drop his pants. John Doe was allegedly caught completely off guard by the request and asked Diddy to repeat himself. Combs made himself clear. He instructed John Doe to drop his drawers and expose the tip so that Combs could inspect it, explaining it was a rite of passage and that the route to oh and the route to becoming a star, and also as a way to prove himself. Out of fear and anxiety and imbalanced power dynamic between himself and he firmly cupped and held on to his genitalia. For an extended period of time, during this time, Combs moved his hand in such a fashion to manipulate John Doe's genitals, 
squeezing and filling them. John Doe's only 16. Busby has repeatedly stated more high. Hey, right, them claims is crazy. Them claims is crazy. But you can't throw them out because it's Diddy, bro. But that, that seems crazy. Anyway, um, I was just here for the oil, dog. So that 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 damn that damn highlight definitely got me. But you know, it's all coming from John Doe. So But uh anyway, apparently another victim has dropped a lawsuit today or yesterday. I don't know. But uh apparently this one goes into much more detail and they even disclose their identity so uh yeah let's get it they are jaw-dropping allegations a woman says she was gang raped by uh, p diddy and his entourage and drugged as well more than six years ago in california six years ashley ago. parham says the terrifying evening involved a knife fight with diddy in which she grazed him and being shot at before she could escape with her life so the big question is why after she finally escaped this harrowing ordeal why did she go back to the scene of the crime and then spend the night there it is part of a brand new lawsuit filed just hours ago against sean diddy combs i'm joined once again by the accuser's attorney ariel mitchell ariel you're just great to to stay with me over three blocks i really appreciate this um friend of the mm -hmm. show too i might add so when i'm tough as a journalist it's certainly not personal you know that that is oh, a huge not. question and you know yeah, you just know opposing counsel is going to come at you saying all these horrific things. Literally, she lived a, a movie, a horror movie. Facts. And then after the police leave down the uh, block, she decides to go back to the apartment, let herself in, and then stayed the night. How do you explain that? So first, I want to tell you, you, you asked the question that I asked. I said to her the exact same thing. What made you go back? And I knew in my mind, because I've dealt with so many victims, they're really not thinking clearly. And she said, Ariel, I knew you would say that, that I knew you would ask me, why did I go back? And she said, honestly, I don't even have a good explanation. All I know is I just really wasn't there. I had on a t-shirt. I was at some strange man's house, the neighbor's house that she didn't know. She just thought she could go get, her. she had no purse. She had no keys. She had no cell phone. What was she supposed to do? Call the cops. Was like, I figured maybe since they left, I could at least go try and get my stuff back. And she said, honestly, I really, I've asked myself that many a times. I know this is probably going to come up to everybody, like, because any person like you and me sitting here logically, not in that situation, not having experienced that, we can sit here and judge mm -hmm. all day and say, well, I wouldn't have done that or that doesn't make any sense. But none of us, none of us, know what we would do until we were in a similar situation so I man i ain't, did not expect to be out here defending no goddamn diddy bro but yeah these allegations sound crazy you have a very hard time defending that in court that shit's not gonna fly at all you remember you got shot at by the diddler after you got gang raped and you're gonna return to the same spot and go to sleep bitch please miss me with that this is crazy dog ain't nobody in their right mind gonna be Believe in that bullshit. I don't give a damn. You can try to come up with this little hypothetical. You don't know how it would be to be in this situation. Bitch, that's the fuck I do. I wouldn't be going back to some motherfucker that just did that to me and tried to kill me when I left. The fuck? <laughs> Smell some bullshit, bro. Gang raped and then shot at, huh? And you're going to go back because they got your shit. No, how about you call the fucking police, madam? <laughs> how about you call the police, madam? Mm. Bro, you don't know what the fuck to believe with this bullshit, bro. This, it's crazy. I've been in situations where I profess, oh, it's no way if I was in this situation, I wouldn't do X, Y, and Z. And then the minute I got in that situation, I did not do any of those things. So I do agree that that was a question. All I hear is womp, 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 womp. Like us who's not dealing with that or has not experienced something like that, they would say, oh, I wouldn't have gone back. But what would you have done? You have no clothes. You have no no means of getting anywhere. No purse. Your, your car is there. No car keys. No cell phone. And your help, the police, seemingly left you. What other yeah. option? If would it you goes, have? you know, if it goes to a jury, it's a good question. If it goes to the jury, no, you take your naked, phoneless, purseless money ass and go knock on somebody' door. Hey, this is happening to me. Call the fucking police and come get my ass. 
Like, it's just not going to fly in court at all, bro. I mean, listen, like, what? You going to call it St- Stockholm Syndrome. That's your best defense. <laughs> but uh, you got away. You got away. And he didn't manipulate your way back. You went back on your own accord. God damn it. Ah, oh, bro. It's going to be the reasonable mind of uh, each juror who would make that uh, decision. Ariel, uh, like I said, I'm super appreciative that you spent this much time and that you helped us sort of navigate through uh, the complaint. And I look forward to, um, I think we're going to be talking a lot more as this continues to go through the courts, this one and others. Thank you for this. <laughs> as Thank we will you. continue to cover the dead law. <laughs> anyway, thoughts. Y'all believe this woman? Do y'all believe the oil was laced? First, do y'all believe that John Doe little boy, the 16-year-old boy that said this shit happened in 98, almost 30 years ago? And then you believe this woman. Like, these stories are just crazy, dog. Like, at least make them try to be believable if y'all trying to damn lie. And then it's like, I don't, wanna, I, like, I don't want to call these motherfuckers cap when they actually went through some shit. So we'll never fucking know, but this shit sound crazy, dog. Let me know in the comments. You call bullshit or not? Anyway, first.